Let's look at trend following trading for profits. Now, the first thing you need to know is, well, why should we even look at this? Surely other people have. Well, let me show you a slide from inside a multi-billion dollar hedge fund. This one happens to be Winton Capital. It's a slide taken from them because I don't want you to trust me. I don't want you to rely on me. What we're trying to do, whether it's my fund or anybody else's, when we are trend following is this. Okay, we are not trying to get in at the bottom or out at the top. Nobody does that. If a multi-billion dollar fund doesn't do it, anybody else telling you they're doing it and showing you pretty pictures with oh, I got out here and got in here and they just happened to hit the bottom and the top is lying. It's a multi-billion dollar fund, okay? After a bit of a lag, that's when they buy. They get the meat of the move, okay? And after a bit of a lag, that's when they end up selling. Why do they wait for the lag? Well, they don't have a crystal ball. All they know is, ah, oh, now the trend has started. They don't know ahead of time. They can't buy the upward trend when the market's still falling because they don't have perfect foresight. They don't have that crystal ball. So I want you to know that. And the other thing is people often say to me, oh, indicators, aren't they lagging? As if, as if, oh, yeah, you're right. Indicators are lagging, but my crystal ball isn't, okay? So remember, a multi-billion dollar hedge fund is telling you, yes, there is lag. The way we do it in my fund okay is this one of the things we do is we look to measure the strength of momentum how do we do that we measure how close to the high the price has closed in any given period by measuring that by examining that we have a better idea that there's an increased probability that in the next period an increased probability not a certainty but an increased probability that the price in the next period is likely to move higher. And remember, we know a coin is right 50-50. So we're just trying to be a bit better than a coin. We're trying to be right 60-40. That's all. Not 100% because we don't have a crystal ball. Not 90, not 80, not 70. Because even George Soros is only right about 55% of the time. But what we're trying to do when we're right is make more money by adding to our winning positions, as I've discussed in other videos of mine, so that we make more money when we win than we lose when we lose all that trend following is is this we are riding the coattails of a big player this is the big player in the black bowler hat we're riding their coattails that's me little person at the end and we're just trying to make a little bit off the back of them put another way we think the probabilities are high if the price closes near the high of there being some pent up demand it's a bit like when you see on tv somebody says i've got 40 anybody give me 50 i've got 50 anybody give me 60 i've got 60 anybody give me 70 i've got 70 anybody give me 80 and so on that's what it is it's just a probabilistic indication of the likelihood of a trend moving higher and if you want to know how well they do well as recently as 2016 trend following hedge fund strategies led performance according to the financial times and also according to the financial times these are the assets in trend following strategies since 2005 been going up and up and up and up but let me tell you about trend following when our own indicators we use trend following this is what it looks like in reality we don't capture every trend notice how we miss this whole downward trend here right notice how we had a losing trade here we had a losing trade here we had only a small profit there okay we had a nothing there we had nothing here we had nothing here <gasps> oh but trend following is pretty rubbish isn't it no no because in reality with trading what happens is you get a big win there you get a big win there you get a medium win there a small win there a medium win a medium win and that's a typical month Okay, my point to you is this. It is not about trying to capture every top and bottom and trying to forecast the markets. You can't do that. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the markets. It's making enough winning trades. And when you win, you add to those. When you lose, then you don't ever add to a losing position. Okay, so Alpesh, can you tell us more about whether this works and if anybody's good? Yeah, look at this. Trend following hedge fund managers. Biggest in the world. Look at the wealthiest. My favorite David Harding of Winton Capital, because he's British, $690 million. Trend following Man Group, because it's British, 680, sorry, $68 billion in assets. And some of these other names, some of these you might have heard of. Some will have heard of Paul Tudor Jones. Okay. Uh, 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 and also you've got a whole bunch more. That's all it is. That's all trend following for profits is. In other videos, we'll go into how do you know when a trend is starting? What are the specifics? to look out for okay it's going to be in future videos keep an eye out for those look at my youtube channel join me 
on Twitter. Follow me there as 